topic for today is 10 things I wish I told a uh, 20 year old me. So where was I? Yeah. So I wish I could go back and tell 20 year old uh, Sam these things, but obviously I can't. So um, that goes on to my, yeah. So time, right? You're never going to get back this time. The time that you, you spend in college, the time that you have right now, you're never going to get it back. This is it. So uh, the way you spend it is completely up to you. Um, if I had to go back, I was brooding. I was in an engineering college similar to you guys right here. And my journey from home to college used to consume most of my time. And um, I, the, obviously, your, uh, all of your lessons are so difficult. You have engineering mechanics and whatnot. So um, I used to brood a lot. So if I had to look back, I would tell that girl, don't complain so much because you're not going to get this time back. So have fun with your friends. Do what you enjoy doing. So you could ask me that, um, Sam, um, it's so easy for you to say, yeah, have fun, do things that you like. But then I, I, I am basically depressed. I am sad. I have so many problems going on for me. That goes on to my next point that I'd like to make. Understand where you come from. Understand where you come from, which means that we all have a set of people with us. We have our parents, we have our teachers, we have our friends. Now you come into this environment with that set. For a lot of us, we have great parents, we have great friends, but then uh, for a lot of us, we might not even, we might not have a parent. We might have a very uh, difficult home. It might be a very troubled home. There are so many factors. There are so many, so many factors. So to understand where you come from and to be proud of how, from where you belong. You, you could be from a, a background that is not financially uh, sound. It could be so many different factors. But to understand and to establish who you are, where you come from is very, very important. And be very, very proud of it. Moving on. Uh, Define yourself to yourself for yourself. Okay, so what that means is if um, you, you taught me in college and you asked me, um, Sam, uh, what, what is it that you like? I mean, what, do you, what is it that you like to do? I would probably uh, want to imitate or mimic the person who was coolest in my class. Oh, if that person is vegan, I would say, yeah, yeah, even I am vegan. Or if that person likes pink, I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah I like pink too. But it is very important for each of us to identify our own styles, both mentally and physically. You know, what suits you? What are the things that you like to do? Like if today, if you ask me, what are my goals? I would tell you, my goal is probably to save up money and take my child to a nice amusement park. It wouldn't probably be to buy a, a diamond necklace or, you know, to, uh, to have some material kind of gains. But... I probably would have wanted to buy that um, uh, diamond necklace just to impress the people around me or, you know, uh, because the, the neighbor auntie also had it or something like that. So most of what we want for ourselves is defined by the people around us. So introspect and understand what truly you want for yourself. Right? You, you do take a little time for yourself and, and truly understand what are your goals. Today, if you ask me, who am I? I, I would define myself as a very sporty person. That, that is my uh, identity today. This, would, this was not the case uh, um, 15 years ago. I, I couldn't really define who I was. So at this age advantage, if you guys can define who you are, you you have a very long way to go. So, so um, you guys are probably in your second eight, third eight. So you have a long way to go and make the best of it. Define yourself. So um, when I was way younger, in my 20s, I used to complain a lot. Oh, this is not okay. That is not okay. This is not okay. So... All of us need to uh, kind of build a sort of endurance, right? Both mentally and physically. It's very important because you will enjoy your life more only if you have the capability to enjoy it. If you're going to whine all the time, you're not going to really enjoy your life. 
because life as such is going to be tough if if social media posts and other stuff make you feel like you know you're not doing good enough or you know things are not going so well for you that that's all like an illusion what is important for you is to build your own um mental and physical endurance so start working at it right right now both uh, both uh, both men and women both of you in this room you have to look at enhancing yourself make that self conscious that that sort of that awareness to do that so um that's again going to take you a long way okay uh and the sixth point would be do what you love to do at least as a high, side hustle so um i did my engineering because that was a cool thing to do right being an engineer calling yourself an engineer is a very cool thing to do so you don't want to be a commerce student you want to be an engineering student so that's probably one of the main reasons why even i not i don't mean all of you but that's probably the reason why i took up engineering but all along whenever i was uh, in my uh, class or whatever i used to always have this uh, passion for modeling and my dad used to hate it he used to be like ni urpadama pove like that that types you know so um, it comes from a sense of overprotectiveness of any parent so he used to um, uh, he used to think that you know uh, modeling is not a great profession it's not a stable profession it's not something it's not something that you know you can take as a career option but then i used to i used to love it just for the you know the for the fun of it so throughout i used to always maintain my fitness and i used to always whenever there were shoots i would take breaks in between work and i just used to go do my shoots and come and that's what has got me here today if all these 15 years i've always been doing i've never i've never done modeling full time or as a full profession or anything like that but because i always had it as a side hustle it's got me today where i am so if you love something it could be anything it could be music it could be sports it could be you know even it could even even be something like you know investing in a stock market or something like whatever whatever uh, hits your passion always give a little time in your day for that it will take you again a long way social media okay so in today's uh, in today's world there are a lot there's a lot of debate about social media so um people say that you don't really need it some people say you you need it but my take on social media today is it's an inevitable part of life it's everywhere because you're always hooked on to the internet make the best use of it one don't believe whatever you see on it blindly and don't look at it for recognition or don't look at it for oh if i get like 50 likes or people like me you don't need that to prove anything to you you need to love yourself for yourself but it is a great platform where today you can exhibit your work whatever you're working on will be out there you don't have to necessarily be in a you know in a, in a metropolitan city or you don't have to like the 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 beauty of the internet is it's taken away the importance of a place you know everything is virtual today which means the same platform that i have you have so if you have the talent and if you have the sort of uh, ability to do something you can always put it out on internet that that holds good across all professions so instead of shunning social media away i think we all should um kind of you know try and make the best use of it like there is so much you can learn from social media there's so much that you can learn from it so look at the positives of it of course this is not uh, relevant to my uh, 20 year old me because there was no social media back then and and i think that was a blessing because that didn't give any sort of pressure today oh my friend is posted this so i need to post this there's a lot of pressure among peer group right so um use it to your advantage most of the stuff is in our mind so 
if you are able to break those mind barriers like consciously work on breaking those mind barriers you def you it's going to definitely help you okay so uh, the next number four thing that i would like to tell the 20 year old uh, samyukta and you guys 20 year olds here is uh, every so relationships marriage and parenting parenting is something probably you guys are not going to know anything about for a couple of years now hopefully except probably one or two of you who probably go that path but um, relationships and marriage okay they are going that is going to play a very 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 important role in your life the partner that you choose is going to play a very very important role in your life um so i i know a lot of you in in college you probably are and and this is a topic in our society that nobody touches about you can't talk to your parents you can't talk to your lecturers you probably can talk to your friends about it because it's very taboo but then everybody gets married and everybody is probably in a relationship and everybody probably even has a child but um how it's spoken about is is always hush hush right i'm i'm sure like most of you, uh, you guys in your, the, your parents probably don't even know that you're having a, a relationship or, or whatever whatever it is so um what i would what i would like to say about relationships and marriages you need to center yourself as the most important thing for yourself why because today you never know what is going to happen you never know what is going to happen right like there are so many uh, uh, so many stories of suicides and stuff that we we hear why why do things escalate so fast so bad so negative it is because that person didn't center themselves as the most important in in the entire ecosystem right so it is very important that you are happy as an individual as a person if you want to be happy in a relationship or in a marriage don't give that liberty of your happiness to somebody else center it around yourself and then if you are with somebody else you are going to eventually be happy don't uh, at this age don't make the mistake of running behind relationships oh this is my, this is the ultimate thing this is this is the end of you know my life and this is it because it probably might not be you never know it it might be the best thing that's happened to you it might not be you have to be prepared and i'm going to tell one thing specifically to uh, the girls here okay uh you, most of you are probably computer science students some of you might be biology students so you have the sperm and you have the ova right you have the egg and then you have uh, um the the fertilized egg which is a zygote and that is going to grow inside the female body now it's great if your partner is going to stick around if your partner is not going to stick around you need to be prepared right so always 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 have your own identity okay have your own career path have have as an individual you need to grow and that is very important because you never know what life throws to you because that's how life is guys that's how it is kindness that's another very 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 important thing i think um then this is slide yeah i think i missed this slide okay so uh kindness um why kindness so how many of you have done this so you will be working on something you probably just on instagram or something like that your mom will come about saying uh, uh something something la your mom will probably ask you something like that and you'll be like illa ma i'm working right now don't disturb me you'll just like probably yell at her or snap at her or things like that now the thing about us people what we do we are so nice to people who we just met like you know how are you how is it going and things like that but to the people who are so close to us we just take them for granted we don't really we don't from time to time don't uh, treat them well how many of you have, are guilty of snapping at your mom when whenever you are in, in uh, a bad mood hands up please nobody eh? yeah see so um 
so kindness uh, goes a long way because uh, we don't know what you probably seeing your friends you know eight hours uh, in college or whatever you don't know what they are going through what their struggles are what what lives they lead in the time that you don't see them they probably share some stuff with you but they probably don't so uh, it's very 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 important to inculcate kindness as a habit okay so that you know you just create a good vibe around yourself and the and the people that you know so a lot of uh, people come up to me and and say um uh, sam you you're quite down to earth for uh, somebody who's doing so much of work in media i'll be like no that is normal behavior if somebody is throwing a tantrum or somebody is being stuck up that is not normal behavior so normalize things that are normal right all of us need to have a certain decorum a certain courtesy towards each other and if we're able to inculcate that in our 20s i think that's that should be the way forward and the last and the final point is confidence somehow in our society today uh if you're confident about if you're confident about something it is looked frowned upon as arrogant right a borderline sort of and ana romba pesra ella therinja mari pesra you know that kind of a thing but i would say if you don't believe in yourself who's going to believe in you build that confidence from today it is very important that uh, you build that confidence it it won't happen in a day if you you're going to say tell tell yourself okay i'm going to be confident from today it's not going to work you need to build that uh, that aspect of yourself over time and give yourself that time work on that be super confident about everything that you do and um, and uh, that's all i have to say and thank you all so much